Oh, hi. What's up, guys? How's it doing, dudes and dudettes? Uh, welcome back to another great, uh, riveting episode of I'll Have a Beer. Um, today we're doing Foster's. American for Australian for beer. I say that because uh, this is actually brewed in the United States. Um, and uh, Originally, yes, Foster's is from Australia, and then like uh, 71, 75, somewhere around there, something like that, I can't remember. Uh, who gives a shit? They uh, imported it over to Britain, where they brewed it in Britain for a while, and then apparently now they've... Uh, they've they brew it in the U.S., so now it, uh, I think it's uh, owned by uh, um, the Imbev, whoever the shit, the fucking company that owns every goddamn beer in the fucking earth. Um, this one is a 25.4 fluid ounces lager beer, uh, brewed and packaged under the supervision of Foster's Brand Limited by Oil Can Brewers Breweries in Fort Worth, Texas. So Texas is making these now. Um, brewed in the U.S. with U.S. and imported ingredients. Over 125 years ago, during the summer of 1888. That was a good year for me. Uh, the Foster Brothers gave the thirsty people a of Melbourne their first taste of true refreshment. Fosters, established in 1888. Australian's famous beer brand. Here's the thing about Fosters, though. Almost nobody in Australia drinks Fosters. Um, this is actually not a popular brand in Australia. Uh, in fact, I've seen a video uh, where they were asking Australians about uh, certain th certain Australian things, and there were some people that had never heard of Fosters who were born and raised in Australia. They had no idea what Fosters was. Never heard of it. Um, the the two po most popular brands that I, that I found uh, that are in Australia is uh, Carlton's and Victoria's, uh, two of them that were uh, really big brands over there. So, yeah. Um, Foster's is not even Australian for beer. I do find it crazy that, uh, Foster's is like the only one that has this fucking Mondo Burger sized fucking can. Um, I believe this is actually the first video that we've done with a can. I believe. Huh. Um, obviously I'm not going to drink this whole damn thing in front of this, uh, this review viewing beer video um, because yeah that's yeah 20 what was it 25 25.4 fluid ounces it's a little over two beers so I'm not gonna sit there and drink two fucking beers of this shit you pussy um uh, looks like your normal urine beer um, uh, you know very crisp looking beer Got your, uh, got just the white, white little boobles on it. Yeah, just smells like a typical, just, uh, piss water beer. Um. So, I mean, it just tastes really fucking generic. This is, isn't this, uh. Ooh, wait. Ooh, there's something there on the back end. Like, it sort of... Sort of tastes graham crackery. Um, to me. Like, like that's the closest thing I can think of. Now, I know I've tasted something very similar to that, but it almost tastes like a graham cracker. Uh, on the back end there. That's, that's really interesting. By the way, uh, this is the uh, beer advocate uh, rating of Foster's. Yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy like if Foster's came in six packs. I don't know. Do does Foster's come in six packs? Somebody let me know, or I'll just look it up. Fuck it.
yeah, like if, if Foster's came in a six pack, I probably wouldn't buy it. No, it, eh. I'm wondering if anybody else picks up a graham cracker taste off the back end, or if that was just me. Um, but yeah, that's that's really really kind of weird, uh, especially for like just some kind of shit ass beer that we got going on here. The fucking kangaroos on here. So yeah, I mean, it's just it, I don't know. It seemed kind of weird to throw a fucking kangaroo uh, on this uh, on this can. It's like, yeah, what, what what else could we throw on there to let everyone know that this is an Australian beer? Like, yeah, let's go ahead and throw a koala on there. Let's fucking put Steve Irwin right next to the to the F on the Fosters. Yes! That way you know it's from fucking Australia. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. This is, this is kind of a shit beer. I mean, it's not great. I, sh I say shit beer, I mean, it's not, it's not really good. I feel like, uh, Australian bars probably only keep Fosters, uh, on, on stock, or in stock because fucking tourist Americans come over there and probably go over to the, the bars, the local bars, and they're just like, ah, oh, can I get a Fosters, mate? And they're just like, Take your fucking fast as you fucking can't. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's not good. It's I mean, it's, it's beer. I mean, I'll give it that. It's beer, but uh, it's not. It's it's nothing special. It's nothing to shake your dick at. Whoa, what? Um, fuck it. Cheers. Be done with it. What would I give this as a personal rating? Foster's Beer? Uh, Australia's famous beer brand? I'm... I'm honestly gonna give it a two and a half livers. It's it's two and a half livers. Uh, out of ten. I, it's, it's not that great. Really, honestly. Alright, so... It's the end of our video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, if you really like the videos, hit the subscribe button, uh, so that, uh, you can watch videos every Sunday and Wednesday. Like I've said before, as long as there's beer in the world, I will drink it. Um, so, uh, all that can be said now is, uh, drink happy.